Hello everyone, welcome to the combinational and sequential design practical series. We will be doing this practical using the Samuel ID software. You can use any other software. So today we will be doing the session on implementing the given boolean expression using minimum number of gates. So in this particular session we will cover these three topics. First verify the De Morgan's laws. Then second is implement the other given expressions using minimum number of gates. So we'll see how we can actually uh, reduce the expression and implement the same equation with less number of gates. And the third part is implementing that using a uh, minimum number of ICs. So in the first part, we verify the De Morgan's laws. So this is De Morgan's first law. And uh, this is the left side, left hand side of De Morgan's laws. And this is the right hand side of De Morgan's laws. So De Morgan's first law. So we'll verify these two identities that whatever we are getting with A or B the whole bar, we are getting the same thing with A bar and B bar. So it is like uh, break the line and change the sign. And this is what the truth will be getting when we uh, when we actually execute this on Samuel ID. So we, as we can see in the outputs, both are we are, we are getting both same for the given input condition for 0 0 both are 1 for 0 1 both are 0 1 0 both are 0 and 1 1 both are 0 so these are logically equivalent we'll test this then in the second law we have this on the left hand side a and b the whole bar is actually a bar and a bar or b bar and this is the truth table okay we'll verify this so we'll do this on samuel id the second part is implementing the given expressions using minimum number of gates. So we have this uh, particular expression with this on the right hand side we can see A or A bar and B. So this is uh, the logic uh, diagram for that we require three gates, NOT gate, one AND gate and an OR gate. Now we can reduce this expression. I have shown in the PDF I am sharing the link in the description section of this video you can download from there this is solved so what we get is this one on the right so this only one gate can do what these three gates are doing so we uh, reduce the number of gates so these two expressions they are logically equivalent and this is what the truth table will be get will be getting so as we can see on the outputs both are uh, equivalent logically equivalent so this saves two gates so what we can do with three gates we can also do with the same single gate so this will ex will verify this and finally uh, we require in, in the previous case as we saw that we only require one OR gate so we have IC7432 there are four OR gates we can only use one out of this and verify that particular uh, identity so let's jump into the Samuel ID software so now we are into the Samuel ID software we do the first part that is the verifying De Morgan's law the first law is a or b the whole bar so for that purpose first we require the gate so let us take the or gate this oring so we need to do a or b the whole bar so here then we take the not gate so this is the buffer and we can convert this buffer into inward output so it becomes a not gate so and also we require and gate to verify the right hand side so we take this and gate this we put place it afterwards so just copy sorry sorry just copy and we paste it here twice so here we require two not gates okay. now we take the inputs for inputs we need this first we take the probe this is the this will act as the output and then we have the fixed voltage supply so this is A and this is B okay. now what we do is we connect this A and B to both the circuits together so that it is easier for us to verify first let us connect this part so this comes here the A is connected here and it is also connected to this part okay, the second part then we have B we connect the B to the next terminal here and also we connect it here together so that it, it becomes easier for us to verify both together rather than connecting two different power supplies okay. so this connects here and this goes here 
and here we have this and here we have this and this is the output now let us turn it on so for 0 0 both are 0 0 for 0 1 both are 0 for 1 0 again both are 0 and for 1 1 they remain as 0 0 so this is how we verify the de morgan's first law okay now we have to verify the second law i'll just turn it off now what we will do is just we need to this uh, here in the second part this two if we replace this and with or and or with and this becomes the second law so instead of just uh, uh, replacing the entire circuit we just wa what we do is we just delete this component and there is this this particular component and take uh, first of all we take the and gate okay and gate we place it here the and gate and take the or gate and place it here and just do this connection reconnect it so this is our a and this part is our b part and this connects here so the upper part is a and b the whole bar and the second part is a bar a or b bar this is the second part that's it so we just save, save time with doing this now let's turn it on for 0 0 both are 0 0 for 0 1 again both are 1 1 for 1 0 both are again 1 1 and for 1 and both become 0 0 so this is how we verify the de morgan's first and the second law now let us go to the second part now we come to the b part of the practical so on the left hand side of the equation you can see the pdf it is a or a bar and b so we need three gates so first of all we take the not gate so this is the not gate and then uh, we require or gate and gate both so here we place the and gate and here we place the or gate so this is the probe for the first output this was second let us first connect the first uh, the left hand side equation what we are getting for the left hand side so on the left hand side we have a and a, a or a bar dot b so first of all a will be this one as this is our a so this is a we can it directly a now second part comes from here so we need a bar so this not gate ensures we get a bar and this is the ending part okay. and the other input comes from this is the b part so it comes from b and this goes into the or gate the last one and this is our output so this output is of a or a bar and this is the b so this this output of and gate is a bar and b and it, it is odd with a so we get it that here it is a or a bar dot b now it is equivalent to actually or so let us have or gate here so or requires only two inputs one comes from a so this is our a and this comes from b so we can exec uh, both we can get both the outputs together so it is e easier for us to verify now let us start so for 0 0 both are 0 0 for 0 1 both become 1 for 1 0 again both become 1 and for 1 1 both become 1 so these two are logically equivalent so here how we this is how we verify this particular uh, identity we reduce the upper part using boolean expression we get this lower that is a or b so this is complete now let us verify the last one so now we into the third part so for this third part we require ic7432 so here we in, in ic74 series we have this ic7400 so this is a uh, ic7432 so we just need to verify working of one or gate so it will verify that particular uh, identity so we require one probe and here we have the fixed power supply there are four or gates we can uh, verify any of this or gate we, we verify the first one number 1a 1b and this is the output so now let us turn it on 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is also 1 and 1 1 is also 1 so this verifies the the uh, expression the identity which we did in the b part so that's all for this particular session 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग डू जॉइन अस फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो